Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if you are new. Today's video is all about the pantry. I'm going to be organizing my mom's pantry. I'm here visiting her and we are going to be getting her pantry nice and organized. We went yesterday and got all of the beautiful containers just like my pantry. If you guys have not seen my pantry organization, I will link that down below for you guys. But I'm really excited to do my mom's pantry because she does have a standard size pantry and I know a lot of you guys have a standard size pantry as well so I thought it would be perfect to film me getting her pantry all organized um, we got acrylic bins we got organizers we got everything we needed but anyway I want to start by sharing with you guys all the organization tools I picked up and then we will go ahead and start the pantry I'll show you guys some before shots and we're gonna get going we only have a few hours before my mom gets back. So I'm gonna try to get all of this done before she gets back. What we got, she did get some fridge organization. So we'll see if we have some time to get her fridge done. Hey, Denim. <laughs> um, we also have all of this organization over here. So we got, here's my advice for you guys. It's better to buy more than to buy less. I told her, let's just buy a lot. Keep our receipt and we can return things we don't need. There's nothing like being in the middle of an organization project and not having enough. So. We got quite the bit so that we don't have to go back to the store. So we got small, medium, and large acrylic bins. We got multiple sets, like I said, because we're not trying to go back in the middle of a project to have to go buy some more. We also got these little cereal containers. I already took them out and I washed them last night, so those are good to go. These ones she got as well. They're the little pop-it containers, but I realized she already has these in her pantry. She has like black ones. So we're gonna try to make those work. We're only gonna use this if we absolutely have to. Um, Denim is like jumping on me. So I'm not sure if we're gonna use these, but we're for sure gonna use the cereal ones. And then we also have some little Lazy Susans as well. These guys right here, we got two of these from TJ Maxx. These were $5.99 for the little turntables and they spin, which is really nice. And then what else did we get? We also got this one. This is the one I'm most excited about. I'm gonna go hunting for this one for my pantry. It has little compartments in it and it spins as well. I'm gonna use this for all of her little breakfast bars since she has quite a bit. I'm gonna use this for that. This is gonna be so fun. And then got some of the extra large um, bins as well. So okay, so here is the before shot of her pantry. Let me step back so you can see it. So this is definitely a really good standard size pantry. She has quite a bit of space in this pantry, which I like, and it does kind of go back there as well. So this is a really, really good size pantry. This is gonna be something we could do a lot with. Um, so. I want to repurpose a lot of the containers she already has so that way we're not being wasteful. So she already has these pocket containers which are really good. She went ahead and washed the ones that are empty. Um, so they're airtight, they have a black lid and she likes the black. So I think that we're gonna make those work um, and we'll use the white ones if we have to. She also has some of these as well which are great. So we may be good in that category not having to open that big box. She also has these baskets as well which are really good size. I I want to repurpose those as well so I'm not being wasteful. I do want to take this liner out because I'm not liking that look of that. But you can see she has tons of dry ingredients and she told me that she's always buying double and triple of things because she can't see what she has. So that's why pantry organization is so important. So I really want to get everything organized in a way where she can just like do a glance before she goes to the grocery store and sees what she has and she's not buying double. She also um, wants to use the bottom for like storage of appliances. So I'm gonna try to keep that available for her. Whenever I'm doing an organization project, I really like to take the time to remove every single item out of the space. It makes organizing so much easier and it also helps out a lot when you go to deep clean the area. That way you can really see everything you have. him out of breath like completely out of breath the hardest part is removing everything out the pantry everything else is not nearly as challenging in my opinion so the shelves are very dirty so we're gonna be wiping down all the shelves very well we're gonna do a really good wipe down also 
tons of like dirt and debris under there that we're gonna be sweeping and taking care of. Whenever you're organizing, it gets worse before it gets better, remember that. Um, she was limited with places for me to be able to put all of this stuff, so I tried to fit as much on the table and chairs as I could, but I started to run out of space, so I had to start putting stuff on the floor over here, and then we have all of these counters filled of stuff. So, the good thing is we're gonna be utilizing a lot of the containers she already has. There's just no need to like be wasteful. So I'm gonna try to use all of the organization she has first before I open any of the new organization. Now what I'm going to do, the next step is to go through everything and get rid of anything that's expired. She does have quite a bit that's expired. So I'm gonna go through that. I'm going to get this clean and then we'll be ready to really figure out an organization plan for this pantry. So before we start with the organizing, of course I have to wipe down all of the shelves. I'm just using a microfiber cloth. I'm using my Method antibacterial spray, which did a really good job of getting the shelves nice and clean, removing all of that bacteria. You will see me here in a second go get the Dawn Power Wash. There were a lot of caked on food stains. There was some spilled syrup or something like that inside the pantry, and the Dawn did a great job. I just used the Dawn and a little scrub brush, and I was able to scrub all of that food food away. So I scrubbed all of the little shelves. I went ahead and swept, mopped the floor under there, so that's good to go. Now I'm going to start playing around with the acrylic bins, kind of seeing where I want to do everything, and then we'll go through the food and kind of just like see the layout that I want to do in here. Now, one of my favorite things to do whenever I'm organizing is to create the layout. Even though I changed it a million and one times, I like to set the bins in the pantry to kind of get an idea of how they are gonna be. I did move them around so many times. Once I kind of got an idea which bins I was gonna be using, I went ahead and gave them a good wipe down so that way they were nice and clean. I did keep the tags on some of the bins just to make sure my mom liked them. Spoiler alert, she loved everything. So everything you see me using in this pantry, we ended up keeping exactly how you guys see in this video, but I'm just adding everything back in slowly and really making sure everything I put in the pantry is in a great location that it makes complete sense. So that way she is able to find everything she needs. I also wanted to share that before I'm adding anything back to the pantry, I'm a checking expiration date. So if you guys see me tossing anything out in the garbage bin, that is because it is expired. You don't wanna be putting expired food back in the pantry. Those little labels were so, so helpful. I was able to add the cereal in this bin. Both of these have the same expiration date. So I was able to combine them. And then I added that little label at the bottom. So that way my mom would know when everything in her pantry expired. I definitely got to add those to my pantry because that was a brilliant idea. She had already had these on hand and I was so happy I got to use them. These containers you see me using to put flour and brown rice in, I recommend only adding things that you buy on a regular basis or that you use on a regular basis. If it's kind of like a one-time item, I recommend keeping it in its packaging and you can organize that in a basket or an acrylic bin. My mom just walked in a lot sooner than I expected her. I thought she was gonna be gone a little bit longer, but that's okay. She loves the transformation. I wish I would've got her reaction on camera. I didn't have time to turn it on, but she absolutely loves it. She is blown away. She is so happy with how everything's organized. She said, wow, I can see everything. So that is super exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the run through, give you the final reveal. 
Okay guys, before I share the major pantry transformation, let's take a walk down memory lane. This is how my mom's pantry looked when we first got started. A lot of things unorganized, a lot of things out of place, things that didn't belong in the pantry. And here is her after. Everything has a designated location. She's able to see exactly what she has. give you guys a run through of how I organize everything and kind of share with you what everything is. So those black labels were great. However, it didn't have nearly as many variety as the one I used for my pantry. She really wanted the black lettering, but I couldn't find one that had a larger pack. So I'm going to link the ones I used for my pantry below. So the ones that I needed labels for, I just used her label maker. It doesn't match completely, but it still looks really good. Start up here first. So my mom buys a lot of cereal, so I wanted to keep one empty for her, so that way when she goes to the grocery store, she can fill that up. So that's just labeled cereal, cereal, and then she had a large bag of some Craisins, so I thought that'd be perfect to put in there. And then this little bin is everything she needs for breakfast, so it has grits. I didn't wanna like put these in a container because they have all different expiration dates. So I put the pancake mix, all of the grits. She has some oatmeal back there as well. I also did her pastas right here. These were too tall to fit with all of these other things, so I had to put them up here, which I think is still really nice. So she has her two pastas, and then she has tons of like freezer bags and Ziploc bags and foil and parchment paper. This is all of her overflow products, so I wanted this to be top and center, but in an acrylic bin so she could still see everything she has. She doesn't drink tea very often, so I put this here, but I did label it tea. It has all of her teas in here. And then this is all of the stuff she uses to cook. So she has pink salt. I also made sure to put the expiration date at the bottom of every single container. So that way she knows when everything expires. I thought that was brilliant. She actually um, had these stickers already. I put everything in my phone, but when I go back home, I'm gonna get these stickers. So that way you know when every single thing expires. So that's really nice. So I did that at the bottom of all of these, but breadcrumbs, cornstarch, flour. So like they didn't have a cornstarch label. She's kind of have to get creative, but they did have quite a bit of labels. She has her brown rice, brown sugar, and then I left some empty containers back there in case she needs to add more to her collection. And then moving on to this shelf, we have all of the condiments here. So we have honey, agave, all of her extra little condiments, ginger, mustard, her teriyaki sauce. Also have some sauces back there as well that are on Lazy Susan's, which is really nice. Moving down here is everything you need to cook. So you have all of your cans over here, quite a bit of cans. I did keep some empty space right here so that way she has space to add additional cans to her pantry because she probably will be. I have a little wooden riser in the back that kind of raises that up a bit, but just wanted to give her some more space to be able to add additional cans. And then over here is all of the overflow pastas that couldn't fit in these two containers. She has quite the pasta selection, chickpea pasta, um, a black soybean pasta. So just like everything pasta related is in here. And then this is everything she'll need to cook to make like side dishes, quinoa and brown rice. There is some rice peel off back here. We have just some other side dishes here as well. Down here, this is kind of a little bit of the snack shelf. She has all of her granola bars, her nuts. I just put mixed nuts there, some extra granola bars in the back and all of the chips that are open. We also have a little bit of some soda right there as well. And then these are just some extra sauces she has that couldn't fit up here. Um, I just put them down here as well as all of her tuna. And coming down here, she needed some space for her extra appliances. We also have this little basket that has all of her party supplies, paper plates, paper cups, all of her plastic storage containers are in here. And then this guy, 
is all of her um, extra chips that couldn't fit in that guy right here. I just put her extra chips in this basket. And it's down here, she's gonna go through this to see what she wants to keep, what she wants to get rid of, but I just added her appliances that she had um, back underneath here, like her air fryer, her tea kettle, crock pot, all of that stuff um, she wanted to be stored at the bottom. So there is that. So that is everything we were able to get organized. Here again is a last shot of how everything looks. Okay guys, that completes my pantry organization video on a standard size pantry. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me getting my mom's pantry nice and organized. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Hit that subscribe button down below. Join the family here on my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.